Etheria was once a land of living legends. Long ago, brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes, called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties, and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Now these heroes in training will have to grow up quickly. Together they will defend the Eternia Crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. Oh yeah, it's time for Dungeon Defenders, guys. It's on Steam right now, on sale for 15 bucks, and we're going to be playing the demo. Um, I played it a little bit before I started making this video, only so I could get a, you know, so I could get used to it a little bit. I feel like I need to lower the fracking sound, but there is no option to do so. So, I'm yelling a little bit. Because I can't lower the fucking sound. Damn it, I'm gonna... No, I need volumes, damn it. Useless, useless. Um, I haven't done the tutorials, I should probably do that, but... I freeballed it. Let me try lowering the volume inside of the, uh... Mixer for Windows 7. Maybe that'll help. I just don't want to... I don't want my... I don't want my pretty voice to be drowned out by the epic music and whatnot. Alright, that feels a little bit better. So, it's a tower defense game mixed in with sort of an FPS nature. It's not a new genre, but it's definitely uh, a fun one. There are two or three other games, Orcs Must Die, and I think the other one's called Equilibrium or some shnikey like that. We're going to play the character I have already, whose name is Xavian, or Exvian. Uh, he's a mage. There are a couple of other characters. Let's go take a look at them. The apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. So this guy can do damage, and he also has a little bit of a pushback ability. Um, uh, to be honest, I don't know yet if there's a difference between the towers they can build. I think there is. He has a little bit of a magic barrier. Brave knight in training, the squire upholds the honor and nobility of his kingdom with every slice of his blade. Building defenses of brute force and limited range, the squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeoning spikes and whirling blades unleash the rage he bestows upon his foes. So this guy does melee damage, doesn't have any ranged attacks, and I think he has stronger barriers and maybe weaker offensive turrets or uh, sentries, whatever you want to call them. Trained in reconnaissance, She's a locked. the sleek and slender huntress deploys deadly traps and explosives. But do not be fooled by her appearance. This elegant she-devil is trained in ranged weaponry and is sure to always hit her mark. Launching a volley of arrows from the shadows, the enemy never sees her coming. Once a peaceful and passive student, the monk has been called from his solitary meditation and forced to take up arms in the defense of his land. Only he, through his expert spear-fighting skill, can avenge the death of his master. Channeling his aura, the monk uses energy to heal his allies and cripple foes. That's pretty much it. Hat, um, so I played an Apprentice. Should we play a Squire? The squire. No, I think I'm gonna stick with my guy. I'll sh since he's already higher level. 
Okay, let's start playing online. We'll do a quick match. And there's a single player version of this game, which is fun, but it's a little bit slower and not so action packed as the uh, multiplayer co op is. So here we are in uh, the tavern. This is pretty much where everything happens. Not everything, I suppose, but when you're not playing, you talk to this guy here and uh, he lets you. He lets you sell and buy crap. Can I sell to you, my friend? Um, sell to bank. Sell all. Do it. I'll always give you a fair price. Well, I guess I can't sell these for some silly reason or another. Oh, I think I got thrown into the match. That was sort of like a waiting lobby. I was kicked. That doesn't hurt me at all. That doesn't hurt me. Quick match again. So yeah, we can sell and buy stuff at that tavern lobby. What the frack, man? Come on, you guys. People are being dicks about it. God. Stop kicking me, you sons of bitches. Oh, goodness. This is going to be a fun video. Let's try again. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. I might not be able to show you guys the online stuff because I keep on getting kicked. It may be possible that I can't play online. Well. Um, I guess we'll try the single player. Oh, look at that. I got on. I don't have any manas. So I don't know if I'll be able to help at all. Seems like all these people might have uh, lost a teammate. I had to click OK for it because I obviously don't have a... Uh... Oh, now I do! Um... I'm gonna build stuff around the crystal itself. Uh, let's go look at the options to see how we chat. Um, Cancel, call out, hold to talk. Oh, I'm tired to see the ability to chat. Did everything start? Yes, it did. myself right into the action since my towers aren't doing any good at the moment yet I got a feeling we're all about to get our ass kicked
Stop hitting me, you bastards. Nelly. Well, the wave completed. But I got all fucking nuts. So let's put up another crystal here. Collect some of this manas very greedily. Hmm. I'll take the manas, I don't care about the gear. Should put something here. I don't know what's happening. Twenty one points. Let's put up a blockade. All right, and we're officially out of mana, so I think that we can start the combat. chat. Let's not enter. I don't know. Strafe, store, rotate, play a weapon, show inventory, cancel action, call out, hold to talk, left alt. I think that's for chatting, though. Oh, there's some big guys coming. Very big, ugly bastards. This, I suspect, is gonna hurt. I'll not pass, bastards. Damn, I'm close to death. Damn, that big fat bastard's gonna wreck my shit. Oh, death. Oh, respawning is awesome. I wonder if there's some kind of a penalty for death. Trying to strafe, trying to strafe. They're good over here. 
There's a lot of ass happening right around the corner. Cool. That went well. Sorta. Kinda. Oh, we leveled up. So here you can guys see where we put the skills and whatnot. Um, I wish I knew how many points I had to spend. Oh, points to spend two. Uh, okay, I'm going to increase my attack rate. The tower's attack rate, rather. No mana left. Oh, son of a bitch just stole the mana that I wanted. Let's check down this chest. No, nope, he took that one too. It becomes a pain after a while because if you don't have the mana, you're not going to have any action to do. Yahtzee. Oh, here's a big badass weapon. I can't use it. To get some spare mana, 40, which means I should be able to place another Ghibli jump somewhere. Um, where do I think it's needed? Um, I'm gonna place it here in the middle. Move, you fucker! Alright. And everyone's waiting for me, so I feel like an asshole. Combat phase. Wire. He's all up in this shit. My attacks seem to have a little bit of penetration, so when I hit, as you can see, it sort of maybe has an AoE to it, or I hit enemies behind them. Fuck me, that son of a bitch hurts. Where you going, boy? Don't turn your back away from me. Still missing a couple. Let's see, where are they? Here they are. Wave completed. 
I'm not sure how long I should drag this video out because it keeps on going and going. Build phase. to do I think I'm going to try blockades Feeling good about the blockades. Um, yeah, let's put some blockades here. Out of mana. I hope I'm not putting those blockades up there at the expense of the actual turrets. I don't know if I'm blocking their ability to uh, actually shoot shit now. I hope I'm not, but I might be. And if I am, I apologize. Alright. No mana around. So, let's go check in. This will probably be the last wave. I don't want this video to get too damn long. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is probably cut out the single player action that I did. So that, uh... You guys don't, uh... Go crazy. Come on, everybody check in already, damn it. That was not me lighting a cigarette, by the way. All right, it was. You guys caught me. Damn, look how many enemies are coming out of here alone. Five hundred and eighty-six enemies. They seem to be doing okay over here without me, so... I'm feeling a little bit useless, I'll be honest. friend whoever was here left. So I'm feeling a little bit exposed. Shit, they suck.
Yep, I totally did block the turrets uh, from being able to do their business. Kraken archers. This little bastard. Oh, time to retreat. Is there a way for me to heal myself? Heal self. Perfect. And to go back into the game. And time to retreat. Oh man, that was intense and fun. Well, I think you guys get the gist of it. I'm gonna probably stop playing here because I don't want the video to get too damn long. And uh... I don't want to put these guys off in a negative way, so what I'm gonna do... is... I think I can go to the bank. Item box. No, it's not there. There was somewhere where I could drop all my mana. No, well, that's not it. Alright, frag it. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of the game. I think it's awesome. Um, I made it so I could show my friend a dirty southerner and hopefully he won't be a pig fucker about it and maybe he'll pick it up and realize the awesomeness that it is but it'll most likely backfire so thank you all for watching please remember to rate comment and subscribe and uh see you next time